All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise on and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakrash, the one that's our elders and apostles of great meals and a dual will, citations and blessings to Akin that's pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and charity. All right, today I want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, We're Blowing the Trumpet, Uncover Your Ears. All right? And I speak to you, so called Negro, Spanish, and Native Americans, man. Uncover your ears. Are we blowing this, this spiritual trumpet all right, out here on the highways and badways on these lessons that we do? All right, to a send, send, send a message out to you that Yahweh Shema Shah is coming to, to send destruction, all right, to send death on the planet Earth, man. All right, torments, all right, horrible torments. And hey, if you if you don't want to partake in these things, man, you have to hearken unto this trumpet that is being blown, man. All right, this warning that is that that is being given out from the prophets of Yahweh Shema Shah. All right, because hey, otherwise, if you don't hearken and if you don't hear this, you're going to be caught up in, in that destruction that's to come to the earth, the calamities, all right. The uh, the torments that's about to come on the planet Earth, you're gonna be caught up in these things, man. So hey, uncover your ears and hearken. So this is Isaiah 58 and one it says, "Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins." All right, and this is what we this is what we have been sent out to do. All right, to rebuke, reprove, as it says in um, I believe that's Second Timothy's. I'm a, I'm a grad at, but hey, we have been set up to do these things, man. All right, to reprove our people, set them in order. All right, tell them that your Habash Shema is coming, coming back. Clean up your act. All right, get get right, man. All right, daddy's coming home, you know? Hey, it's just like your, your, you know, your um, siblings, you have to watch your siblings and make sure that they ain't, you know, bullshitting and destroying the house, man. All right, and they, sometimes they may, they may be doing that. All right, and if they are doing that, you're going to get on their ass and tell them, hey, clean up, get right. All right, because they dad's coming home. Pop's coming home soon, man. You don't, you don't want to feel his wrath. All right, it's the same thing with your Habash Shema Shah, all right, and his prophets, man. All right, we we are the, the messengers of the Lord. All right, we are the ones that, that are that are telling you people, hey, get right, get right. The Lord is coming back. The Lord is coming back. Do not this abominable thing that I hate. All right, and hey, if you don't stop doing that, you're gonna get that ass whooping, man. <laughs> you're gonna get that 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 horrible punishment from the Lord that we're trying trying so hard to escape, man, and not be a part of. But this is a uh, Second Timothy four and verse one. It says, "I charge thee therefore, before Yahweh." And the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead as appearing in, in his kingdom. It says, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. All right, so we are set up to preach the word, man. All right, to push this word of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to go out there and teach our people, all right, a, in, uh, in the summertime, man. All right, the fall, the winter, raining, snowing, don't matter. All right, we in there, a instant, be instant in season, out of season. All right, so we, we got to be out there on the highways and byways preaching this word, warning our people. It says, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. All right, so this is, what we be, this is what the prophets have been set up to do. All right, to rebuke, reprove, man. All right, tell you people to get right. Come back to your how about Shemal Shai. All right, lest that destruction comes upon you. So the best thing for you to do is hearken onto, what, onto what's being said, man. Or that blood is going to be upon you. That we're getting that blood off of our hands, man, by, by doing our job, warning the people, blowing this trumpet, man. This is Ezekiel 33 and verse uh, 1. And hey, they, we're blowing that trumpet hey, every single day, man, nonstop. All right, the Lord uh, it says in Isaiah, um, let's say, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to grab it, man, because I know I'm about to butcher it. I don't even want, I don't even want to do that, man. But this is Isaiah, yep, yeah, Isaiah, I, wait, hold on, bear with me. I think it's, it's a two and four, two and six. This is Isaiah sixty-two and verse six. It says, "I have set watchmen upon thy wall, upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night." All right. So uh, the watchmen, the prophets of Yahweh Shema Shai, are never gonna hold our peace, man. We're never gonna stop blowing that trumpet. All right. When hey, one man is resting, the other is blowing the trumpet. When he's resting, another is blowing the trumpet, man. All right. Hey, this is a day in and day out thing. All right, you're gonna always get get the warning from Yahweh Shai. That's why the Lord is 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 is, is gonna bring a horrible, horrible horrible judgment down upon our people. Cause you have to have warnings after warnings after warnings after warnings. Then eventually that ass whooping that ass whooping is gonna come, man. But it says, "Ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silent, and give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth." So we're gonna be sighing and crying until Yahweh Shema Shai until he brings the kingdom. Right, until he destroys this place, man. And hey, the kingdom ain't here yet. So we're going to be doing this every single day, man. All right. Every single week, this word is going to go out. 
You people gonna you people gonna have no excuses in that day. This is um Ezekiel 33 and 2. I'll start back at one. It says, Again, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, or I death destruction, if the people of the of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he see uh, if when he see it, the sword come upon the land, he blow out the trumpet and warn the people. And this is what we doing, man, because we see that sword coming. We see Esau Edom coming down with that great wrath, man. We see the Lord's plagues coming, all right, in, in, in a rapid in a rapid way, all right. So we, we're, we're blowing that trumpet. It says, and warn the people. Then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and take it not warning. So if you don't take heed to, to what's being said, all right, that the MOTB is coming, don't take the MOTB. Hey, don't take that karagma, man. I right, if you if you hear these things, man, you hear this warning, and you still go and take it. If the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. So hey, that blood is gonna be on you. All right, that sword comes down and, and takes you away. Like right, you be consumed with with Yahweh Shemal Shai's judgments, man. That's on your own head, man. That's on you, cause you didn't you didn't take uh heed to the sound of the, of, the, of the trumpet. It says and it says he he heard the sound of the trumpet. And took not warning, his blood shall be upon him. So you heard the sound of the trumpet, you heard the prophets out there on the highways and badways. I what a lot of a lot of things that our people do when we be on the highways and badways, man, they are dead. Cover up their ears, all right? Because we speak it so loud, man. And you know, it, I I don't see women do that, man. They cover up their ears and shit. <laughs> you know, I see that a lot, man. All right, that's what our people do. And hey, hey, you you covering up your ears? Hey, that's on you, man. That blood is gonna be on you. That's why we're telling you to uncover your ears. Hear what Yahweh Shemal Shai is saying. Come back to the Lord, man. Hey, otherwise, it's going to be on you, man. Since his blood shall be upon him. But he that take it warning shall deliver his soul. So if you take heed unto what's being said, uh, you hear what we're saying. Hey, you're going you're gonna to deliver your soul, man. You're going to be protected by Yahweh Shemal Shai. You're going to get that salvation. Right, if the Lord has mercy upon you. But the first step is to, is, is to hearkening, man. Is to listen and living your life the the, the tour, living your life as an as an Israelite to the best of your ability. All right, this is the whole duty of man. But if you're not doing that, a judgment just awaits you, man. Second Ezra fifteen and verse one says, "Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth," said Yahweh. All right, just like hey, the Lord came to Ezekiel, and hey, the Lord is coming to us. All right, in these times, man. All right, the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. And what are we doing? Speaking in the ears of our people, uh, prophecy, man. They, the Lord the Lord is coming back. Judgments are coming. All right, death is coming to the earth. And it's going to go into it in, in, in verse 5, man. It says, which I will put in thy mouth, said Yahweh, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So, hey, that's the Holy Bible. These things have been written inside of paper. All right, and they are faithful and true, man. 100% truth. Is, is, is in these scriptures. This it says that there is no lie of the truth. Ain't no lie of the truth, man. This is this is truth. This is real. And all these things are gonna come to pass, man. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. All right, these people who are faithless, all right, who don't believe in Yahweh Shemal Shah, those that don't want to uncover their ears and want to uh give into the, the doctrines of men. All right, the, the ways of Esau, Edom, and all these things, man, the ways of the world, what? It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So all these people that say that, oh, man, that's not going to happen. That's a far off. All right, yeah, it's, it's not going to come in my time. Or, you know, the people that just don't 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 want to take any regard to it whatsoever and just want to live their life, and yeah, they're going to die in their unfaithfulness, man. They're going to be eradicated by Yahweh Shemal Shai. It says, behold, said Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. So, hey, it's ultimately, it's ultimately just because the Lord doesn't want them, man. The Lord is only dealing with the elect. He's only caring uh, about the elect. All right, it says that, that, that the Lord has care for his elect. All right, I believe that's wisdom of Solomon in the third chapter. All right, and it says that the elect shall praise his holy name. No one else is going to do that, man. No one else is going to seek after Yahweh Shemal Shai. Everyone else is, is fulfilling their wickedness, man. All right, hey, it says that the whole, the whole world lies in wickedness. All right, these people are, are doing their, are doing their own things, man. That's why the Lord is gonna bring these plagues upon the earth. All right, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. It's gonna totally consume these people. We ain't worried about what they believe, man. Cause we doing our job.
We know that the Spirit of the Lord is, is, is dealing with us, man. It's very evident, all right? It's very evident, man. But this is Ezekiel 3 and 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a, watch, a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. All right, so we're giving you warning from Yahweh Shema Shai, man. This is a direct warning from the Lord, man. This ain't the, the words of man. This ain't our own mind. All right, as uh, me and the brother Tazwar did that lesson yesterday, that this isn't just a book. All right, this is real, man. This is the truth. All these things are going to come to pass, man, and what? <laughs> you people are going to know that a prophet have been among you, man. Every single last one of you people, all right, that didn't want to hearken, didn't want to hear this, you're going to know that a prophet have been among you. Ezekiel 33 and 33, 33 says, And when this coming to pass, lo, it will come to pass. So it will come to pass. All right. As it says in Habakkuk, the second chapter, it's just for an appointed time. But it's going to happen, man. It says, Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. All right. So, hey, when you people are eating your own children, when you people are eating yourselves, man, <laughs> and drink your own piss, and the list goes on and on for the horrible things that Yahweh Shemal Shai has set up for you wicked ass people, man. You're going to know that a prophet has been among you. You're going to know this, man. You're going to know that Yahweh Shemal Shai sent his men out there to warn you people, man. And then what? You people are going to be in that Amos the 8th chapter spirit. But it's going to be too late for you, man. That's why we're warning you now. That's why you, this is why we're telling you to uncover your ears. Hear, what we, hear what's being said, man. But this is Amos... Uh, 8 and 11 eight, eight, Ultimately putting that pride to the side You know Because that's that's really what it is man. Our people are walking In great pride Alright Those that just don't get it man eight, eight, Good for you man Alright Just uh, eight, Only thing we worry about Is the elect man These lessons are, are truthfully For the elect man Alright Giving that warning out there For for the elect man eight, eight, Putting that fear on their ass man You know Putting the fear on, on, on the whole world Alright says that uh, um, by, the, by the terror of the Lord Alright We persuade men Alright We are persuading you to Through to, to the fear and, 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 and terribleness of Yahweh Shemal Shai, man. And hey, if you don't want to hearken, you're gonna you're gonna find out it. You're gonna find it out, all right. A, a, a um uh, personally, but this is Amos eight and eleven. It says, "Behold, the days come," said the Lord Yahweh, "that I will bring a uh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh." All right, so it's going to be a time where you're not going to be able to get this spiritual water, this spiritual bread, man. There's going to be a famine out here. The word of the Lord is going to, is going to be shut up, man. It says that what? Amos 5 and 13, it says, Therefore, the prudent shall keep silent in that time, for it is an evil time. All right, the Lord is going to shut up his prudent men, all right, his servants, the righteous. He's going to shut us up, man, because it's, it's an evil time. Now judgments are out here. Now, now the Lord is no longer going to be warning anymore. He's going to be handing out ass whoopers now, man. He's home now. All right? He's bringing that judgment. But this is Amos 8 and verse 12. It says, And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. All right? Because hey, now wisdom is out here on the streets right now, man. All right? Hey, hey, uh, Proverbs 1 and verse uh, 20 all right, through 22. All right, wisdom is, is out here on the highways and badways, man. All right, out here on the streets. And hey, you people can get it now. You people can eat good now, man, right now. All right, the, the wisdom is still on, on the internet, still on the unicorn. But what? <laughs> Very soon it won't be, man. It won't be as harsher and harsher restric restrictions going on. All right, we can't say certain words. You know, we can't, uh, uh, you know, speak speak a certain way anymore. All right? So, hey, man, that, that, that family of the word is, is, is approaching very soon. And a a uh, you know much sooner you people are not not going to be able to uh, receive salvation because you're not going to know the name of the Lord you're not going to uh, know know the faith of Yahweh Shai all right so you're just going to be consumed man but it says in verse thirteen it says in in that day shall the fur shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst all right so a gonna run to and fro sea to sea. All right, one way to the next, going to corners that we used to be on, man. And you're not going to see us. We're not going to be out there, man. Because why would we be out there? We have been giving you the warning, telling you telling you to get right all these years. All right, you don't want to get right. Well, hey, when, when, when it actually comes, when the judgment actually comes, man, and death actually comes, Jacob trouble actually comes, hey, man, we're not going to be there. All right, because the Lord is going to take us off the street because, hey, it's no reason for us to be there. It's no longer for, need, a need for a warning. It's here now, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be here very soon. But this is uh, Zechariah 7 and verse 
11 says, but they refuse to hearken. All right, this is what majority of our people are going to do. They're going to refuse to hearken and pull and pulled away the shoulder and stop their ears that they should not hear. All right. So our people are covering up their ears. Don't want to hear, hear what we send. All right. And then we tell you to uncover your ears. Hear, hear, hear what's being said from Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man. All right. Stop being prideful. Stop being stiff necked. All right. Because hey, if you're not, hey, you're going to be suddenly destroyed in debt without remedy. All right. The Lord is no joke, man. You people finna, you people finna get it, man. People finna get it for not wanting to hearken to his prophets, man. Thinking that we jokes. Thinking that the Bible is a joke. A lot of people think that these scriptures are, are literally a joke. All right. They think that it's a fable. They think it's something that, that's man made, created by a man, man. This is the truth. You're going to find it out very soon. It says, yay, uh, they made their hearts as an adamant stone. Or I mean, their minds as an adamant stone. I mean, they were, they were very hard hit it. Didn't want to hear what the word, hear, hear what the Lord said. But what? They're going to be destroyed. It says, lest they should hear the law and the words which Yahweh of hosts have sent and his spirit by the former prophets. So, hey, man, the Lord is, is sending this through, through his Holy Spirit to, uh, to the prophets, man. This is a message and a warning from Yahweh Bashem al It says, therefore, came a great wrath from Yahweh of hosts. So a great wrath is coming from the Lord, man. All right, the Lord is about to tear you people up. It says, therefore, it has come to pass that as he cried, and they will not hear. All right, how, how's the Lord crying? He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it through his former prophets, all right, through his men. All right, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down that that have that have that have that same uh, like mind and doctrine. All right, it says, and they would not hear, so they cried. I'm gonna read over. This is uh, Zechariah seven and thirteen. It says, therefore it has come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear, so they cried and he, I would not hear. Said Yahweh of hosts. So hey, these people are gonna cry. All right, they're gonna beg for the mercies of the Lord. They're gonna call on the name of the Lord. All right, even people that that you know that have the name of Yahweh Bashim al are gonna call on the name of the Lord, and the Lord's gonna forsake their ass, man, because they're not doing because they're not doing what He told them to do. All right, they're faking a the funk. All right, they're still in the world, still a a lot a lot of niggas still smoking smoking weed in the truth. All right, smoking cigarettes in the truth, committing adultery in the truth. All right, the list goes on and on. Hey, hey man, man, niggas tell you can have sex on the Shabbat, man. All right. <laughs> And that's a that's a prime example for you right there, man. Hey, the Lord, the Lord is is not gonna hear them in that day. The Lord is not gonna keep them in that day, man. All right, you're not doing anything that the Lord said to do. All right, he said to keep keep the the Sabbath day holy, and it's a Sabbath right now, man. All right, and hey, it's, it's guys that that just burn their lust, man, and can't even control their damn selves, man. The Lord is gonna destroy people like that. Whole whole camp leaders teaching that, man. You're gonna be destroyed by Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. All right, for not hearkening. Uh, 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 unto, unto the truth, man. All right? The true truth, all right, which is being taught by elders and apostles of, of, of Great Millstone. All right? And you can know that you're an Israelite. That's cool, man. Good. All right? Good for you. That's the first step. All right? But what you doing with that, man? But hey, this is Proverbs uh, 1 and 20. It says, Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the sheep place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, and in the city. She uttered her words, saying, all right, so wisdom is going to be out here on, on the highways and byways, on the streets, man. I, um, I just did a lesson on that uh, as well, you know, but wisdom is going to be out here on the highways and byways, on, on, on the streets, man. All right, lifting up his voice like a trumpet, man, crying out to you, <laughs> crying out to you people to get right, man, to hear what the Lord is saying. It says, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? How long are you simple, simple niggas going to love this simple ass world, man? All right, wake up in the morning, go to work. A hey, force, force shit, force piss, all right? Go to work. A hey, force eat yourself, man. You know, for, for, forcing yourself to eat, you know, and repeat it all over again, man. And be depressed and then go into a depressed state, all right? And, have, and find fake happiness, man. This is a simple, wicked, wicked ass world, man. How long are you people going to love this, man? Hey, you're going to love it until the Lord destroys you. It says, and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. And hey, as I've been reading, all right, the Lord is all doing this through his prophets, all doing this through his men, man. It says, because I have called and ye refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regard it. All right, you're snatching away the shoulder. Don't want to hear what's being said by, by, by the, by the uh, holy prophets of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. It says, but ye have set at naught all my counsel and what none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. 
All right. So if you don't hearken unto this, if you don't unstop your ears, all right, hey, the Lord is going to laugh when, when, when calamity comes. He's going to mock when your fear comes, man. All right, because he's going to bring all that down upon you. All right, you are not forsaking me, but your own selves. All right, you are forsaking yourselves, man, not, not hearken unto you, Habashim al because now you're going to go through that destruction. You're going to go through that death, man. All right, you're going to go through that ass whooping from Yahweh Bashim al That's not hurting the Lord, that's hurting you. It says, when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call on me. So then these people are going to try to call on the Lord, going to try to get right, man. But I will not answer, but the Lord is not going to hear what you got to say, man. Go cry to those gods that you was worshiping. Go cry to that false-ass doctrine that, that, that you was worshiping and keeping, man. You know, the Lord ain't going to hear you in that day. <laughs> the Lord is going to laugh. He's going to mock, man. Because, hey, you, you, you had a chance to get right. All right, when the truth was, was, really, out, was really out here. All right, you, you, you want to seek something that was not the truth. You want to seek something that was unprofitable to you, man. But the things that are profitable to you and, 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 and you know, are um, going to bring you salvation is out here on the highways and byways, and you say that that's not it, man. But in that day, then you people going to cry to it. Hey, man, that's, that, man that's, that's madness, man. The Lord is going to laugh at you, man. It says, they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me because the Lord is going to take us off the highways and byways. It says, for, for that they hated knowledge. And did not choose the fear of Yahweh, they would none of my counsel and despise all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. So, hey, you want you you want to you want to do your own thing. You want to, you know, um, hey, believe in your own doctrine, push wickedness and all these things. Well, guess what? You're gonna be filled with your own devices, man. You want to believe in in Cesare Borgia? You're gonna be filled with your own your own devices. All right, it's gonna bring you utter destruction says, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. All right, so if you if you call on the name of Yahweh Shemal Shai, hearkening unto the, unto the prophets, man, hearing what's being said. All right, this is a warning from, from the Lord, man. <laughs> this is a, a blowing of the trumpet from Yahweh Shemal Shai. So, hey, hearken, open your ears, man. What? You're going to dwell safely. And be quiet from fear of evil. All right, because the Lord is going to protect you. He's going to have a hedge over you, man. All right, He's going to have a hedge over you, as it says in um, Psalms the ninety-first chapter. All right, the Lord is going to protect all those that call on Him and worship His name in truth and sincerity. All right, but hey, if you're not doing that, if you're not hearkening, if you don't, if you don't want to get right, man, you're going to be destroyed by Yahweh Shem in a, in, a, in a very horrible fashion, man. Hey, and you're going to know that a prop that the prophets have been among you, man, and you should have listened. But it's going to be too late for you, man. So, hey, I pray this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakurash, that will honor our elders and apostles of great meals and I do it well. And citations and blessings to Akin that's pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.